time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Right there, right there. You never know. It was time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E K I Y Amanda, same on Twitter, and Zach. It's time to get this reaction video started. Oh, it's not a reaction video. Cook a video started. today cooking up some stuff i went to the store the spice bazaar and we got this packet can you say that galub ja jamam galub jamun galub jamam we've had this before really it's like a dough ball thing with syrup and stuff you might not have had it yeah but i've had it and i thought it was delicious so when i saw this well this is like a ready mixed thing to go so it's already a ready mixed thing. We just gotta add some ingredients, fry it up. But but this is how we cook here. I'm gonna start yeah. cooking some galab jalam. I got my helper here. Zach. My son, Zachary. He loves to cook. He loves yeah. to be in the kitchen. He's always cooking up some stuff. So I thought to make this Indian dish, me and him will get some stuff going. And look what else I got. Cause you can't make some good galab jalams without some ghee. This is ghee. pure ghee, yes. Are y'all ready to get this started? Step one, it says add one fourth measure of water gradually to one measure of galum jalums. And then you knead it until for five minutes. You know what a knead, you know what you do when you knead? Yeah, you just. You kind of do it with your hands. Got this going? Yeah. I'm gonna slowly pour in the water and you make a dough out of it just keep on stirring while i pour there you go start making a dough out of that more water. i don't think we need more water it says one fourth i don't want to go off of directions zach says this is too powdery let's see maybe we do need more water because yeah. <laughs> this it says add one fourth but it's not well the thing is it says we had to knead the dough so maybe not using a fork maybe we just have to use our hands let's see i'll get my hands into it here pour, put that Put the angle down so they can see. Look how it's it's forming a ball right here. Look how it's forming like a ball here. You see that? I still might need a little bit more water. Get me a tiny bit more water we'll add to there because this is still, still, yeah, it's still not getting into a ball. I'm still kneading this. This is already tougher than I thought. What do you think? I don't even know what ghee is. Ghee is the magic ingredient. You don't know about ghee. I right, add a little bit more water. This is still <laughs> not, this is still mm. not becoming a ball. We don't need the water. Maybe when we, oh, all right. Now it's getting to be a dough. Now it's getting, it's all in my fingers. Look at this. It's all in my fingers, but it's getting to be a dough. It's getting doughy. It's sticking to my fingers. That's a good sign, right? I guess. I've never made gaman. What's it called? Galab jalams. Galab jalams. <laughs> <laughs> You know how to knead, right? Oh, yeah. You just gotta like punch it a little bit. Look at him doing it. He's kneading that dough. Get all those crumbs on there together with it. Knead it all together. Right. Look at he look at him kneading the galub jalums. But I know galub jalums is made in oil, right? You you form the balls, then you fry them in the oil. Well, here in the States, I don't know if they have this over there, but here in the States we have something called the air fryer. Is that Zach? Tell oh, them oh, what yes. a magical contraption the air fryer is. The air fryer is basically you just put anything in it, bam, cooked. It air fries it. It makes crispy. it crispy. But you don't use oil. Oh, yeah. You don't use oil. It, it fries it by the air. So we're going to cook our galab jalums in the air fryer. Now, y'all want to see what this air fryer looks like. I'm going to show y'all. This right here is the air fryer. It has a basket. So you put whatever you want to fry in this basket. And then you put it up in there, set your time that you want. You set a certain time. So we'll set like, turn it on if you want to do it. Now listen, this is Fahrenheit degrees. Remember, we use, this is American degrees, the American the Fahrenheit. And then it gives you the minutes. It gives you the minutes and then Fahrenheit. This, oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. This is a nice ball, right? He, he has kneaded, he has kneaded this to the fullest. Thank you. 
Now that we have our dough ball made, our galundulum balls, it's time to gear it up. We're gonna show Zach what gearing is all about. We right here got pure This gear. is the next step. I have my ghee open. Look at that. Does that ghee look all right? It's all right. Here, so we're gonna make our ball. Oh. I got, how big is your ball? Why is your ball gotta be bigger than my ball? I just grabbed more Let dough. me see. <laughs> you got a bumpy ball. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, you take a little bit of the ghee on your fingers and you and you grease like your ball. You want a greasy ball with the ghee, all right? I'm gonna ball up all the, all the galums and then we're gonna grease the ghee. Uh oh, my ball's coming undone. There you go, little ghee ball. My ball's coming undone. Oh. How much ghee? I'm really putting a lot of ghee on mine, are you? Yeah. Are you greasing yours really good? Y'all ready to see what these look like before they go in the air fryer? We got our balls in the basket. Take a look. There's our balls in the basket. This is the before the ghee gets fried in the air fryer. This is before the balls get fried in the air fryer. They're geed up. Grease good Gee. with the geese. We're about to put in the air fryer. So while we're waiting for this, what are we gonna do, dance? What time is it, Zach? Cooking time. Peanut butter cooking time. Peanut butter cooking time. Let's see how to do the snake. Rintic Roshan taught me this. Y'all ready? Ah, 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 ah. Hey, you try it. Uh, I want a snake. <laughs> I don't know about Rintic's dance moves. Been in there four minutes. You think it's time to check them? Yeah. All right, let's go check them. All right, they are starting to crisp up. We kind of see them. They're getting a little fuller. Are they still greasy? I still feel like ours is pretty bumpy. It's a little greasy, but isn't ours? I mean, ours looks doesn't look like balls. It looks <sighs> like it looks strange looking. I don't think they have good shapes. So Zach. Yes. Once these are cooked. We serve them, you have to kind of soak them in a syrup. Syrup? You can make homemade syrup. Yeah, syrup. It's like a syrup. But I'm just saying, we have like a bunch of syrup, like for pancakes. I say we just use this. Okay. This is Americanized Galub Jalums. We, we do the air fryer. We still use the reg regular ingredients. We still use the ghee, but we're going to use the air fryer and we're going to use Mrs. Butterworth syrup. This is what we got so far. I mean, our balls aren't perfect. They're a little, they got, they're coming apart in some places, but that's all right. They still gonna taste delicious. Now we're gonna put the syrup on it. I'm not sure if I wanna eat this. Uh -huh, it's gonna be delicious. Syrup. That looks so good. You see that syrup coating the, the, the Jalum, Jalum balls? Look at that. Jalum, we, got them, we got them all syruped up. Maybe I should, it probably needs more syrup. It's supposed to soak up the syrup. We're supposed to let it in that syrup <coughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little bit dry. Yeah, we gotta let them soak that syrup up. Mm. This is the Americanized Galud Jalums in the air fryer cooked. Y'all ready to taste this? Yes. yes. Let's go. I think that's good. Um, This is a good ball. Mmm. I don't taste it. Well, you think it's perfect? You love it? Mm -hmm. We love the galum jalum tomato. Zach wants more ghee. I want more syrup. Ah. He wants more syrup. I can use more syrup too. Mm. But these right here were a hit. They're pretty good. Delicious. I think you did a good job. Oh yeah. Let us know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye y'all.